Well, hello everyone. Welcome to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure and Talisman Prologue. So what is this game about? I have no idea. I know it's a game that my brother got me back in Christmas time. And so here, let's click to start and see what this is all about. Okay, I'm going to just check the settings here. I'm going to see if there's, there is music volume. Maybe turn down the sound effects. Have a little bit of music there in the background. Hope it's not too loud. I'll readjust this as as necessary, and let's carry on. So this game, I think, is kind of like a board game. Uh, what's this? Oh, it looks like these are quests. Warrior, troll. You need not roll the die in the crags unless you wish to. If you choose to roll, you must accept the results. Whenever you roll for a 6 brain move, you may regenerate instead of moving. If you choose to regenerate, you heal one life and your turn ends. Okay, interesting. We got a druid, and we got the wizard, monk, assassin, elf, dwarf. Oh, there's so much. Priest, prophetess. Wow, during the game. Amazon. Oh yeah, it looks like there's only certain quests, so you do have to play the game with Ichis, it seems like. Minotaur. Sage. Oh my goodness. What the heck do we pick? Well, I'm going to pick the warrior because this has the most. And we might as well just do this and then we can do all the other ones. This one has a lot too, so we'll do the warrior train. We'll just start with this one and go forward. So let's see what this is all about here. On the left side of the screen, your character's info is shown. From the top, strength, craft, fate, gold, and lives. Objects, spells, and followers you collect on your travels are accessible using the buttons on the right. So probably these ones here. Your character card is shown by pressing the portrait at the bottom left of the screen. Your character's alignment is shown below their portrait. So yeah, as you can tell, we're going to do kind of like the tutorial and all that. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Enjoy the ride, and let's see what we've got going here. Each character has five quests to complete. Your current objective is shown at the bottom of the screen. Move around the board by rolling a die and complete your quest in as few turns as possible for a high score. Huh. Search for or purchase a weapon. The quest begins. So, okay, I guess we're up here. Tavern. Roll the die. Get drunk and collapse the corn. Lose one turn. Get tipsy. Gamble. So how do we... What's this X here? Ruins. Oh, okay, so these are locations. I, don't, I just don't know if I like that. Where is a place that I can buy stuff? Visit the Enchantress. Visit the Doctor, the Alchemist. I'll put this one down here. This is a village. Oh, here, Blacksmith. Purchase swords. That's where we're going to head to. So, how do we roll the dice? Where's the dice? Is this the dice? Ah, okay. So, three. The Talisman board is split into three regions. You start in the outer region and can move in either direction around the board. Across the Storm River is the middle region, and at the center of the board is the inner region. You must now select the space to move to. Press either of the glowing spaces to zoom in and view the space description. If you do not wish to travel to these spaces, you can use a fate point to reroll, but you must accept the second roll. Well, that's okay. Let's see. We should be draw a card. Every space on board tells you what will happen if you decide to move there. Read the space description below carefully before deciding to move. If you're viewing a space you can move to, press the tick at the top right of the screen to travel or zoom back out of view. The other uh, move option by pressing the cross. Oh, okay, so you can cancel or, or accept. And so do not draw a card if there's already one in this space. So there's no card, so we'll do this. You've now moved this, to this space and follow the instructions. Most of the board spaces instruct you to draw one or more adventure cards. They contain many creatures, events, and items 
for you to discover in your quest. After dismissing this tutorial message, press the glowing adventure cards above to draw the card from or the top card from the deck. Okay, well, click. You've drawn your first adventure card. Once you've read the card's description, press the continue button in the top right to start encountering the card. Okay. After you've drawn an adventure card, you have the chance to use objects, cast spells, or use special abilities before you actually encounter it. If you do not wish to do any of these things, proceed to encounter the card by pressing the continue at the top right. So we got a wild boar here. Looks like an enemy. I'm not sure what this means. We'll find out, I guess. There's a wild boar roaming this area. It will remain here until it's killed. You encounter many enemies on your travels. A fight with a strength-based monster is referred to as a battle. A battle will start when you roll the dice. After dismissing this tutorial message, press the dice to determine your attack roll. Your attack scores the total of the, the following numbers. Your strength modifiers gained from objects or followers and the attack roll. All characters roll one die for the attack roll except the warrior who rolls two dice and selects the highest value. Roll the dice to start the battle. Or a battle. Cool. Okay, so far I'm digging this game. It's a typical board game. And we just click to roll. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine. <laughs> says right there. Your opponent rolls one die and as a result to its strength to create its attack score. Five, six, seven, eight. No, that's right. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I just get one. Weird. The two attack scores are compared. If your attack score is higher, you win. <clears throat> if your opponent's attack score is higher, you are defeated and lose one life. If the scores are equal, the result is a standoff and your turn will end. Huh. That's pretty easy. Seems pretty evil. <clears throat> so I got nine, there's a four, so basically I win. When you defeat enemies, you keep the card as a trophy. These can be viewed by pressing the trophies button on the right. Creatures who live on the board, such as the sentinel and the farmer at the tavern, are not taken as trophies. But we got one trophy. Cool. You have completed one turn. Your score for each quest is based on the number of turns you take to complete it. The fewer the turns, the better your score. Interesting. Okay, so now we carry on. We're going to roll because we need to get to this village. So let's hope for a big number. Yay! But I want to go here. But... Well, that's gay. So I have to go here? Or re-roll? Hmm. Huh. Based on alignment, if you're a good, lose one life. If you're a neutral... Replenish fate up to your fate value. Huh. I don't know if I like that one. And I don't want to go here. Ah. You have used fate point to reroll your movement dice. You must accept the second roll. <coughs> well, that's too bad. So let's go here. Who cares? Let's find out what it does. Well, for nothing to happen if you're neutral. Oh, so we can buy a fate again. So let's do that. Ball, oh, but I need a weapon. Shit. Oh, well. I see why this game would be tricky. But it's guarded by mighty sentinel. Huh. You have roll enough to attempt to cross the bridge to the middle region, but it is guarded by my sentinel. The sentinel will attack every time a character attempts to cross into the middle region. If you choose to move to space in the middle region, you will battle the sentinel. If you defeat the sentinel, you will successfully land on the space. You choose to move to be more. The sentinel is strength of nine is one of the toughest enemy line. You must be strong to defeat him. If you lose battles the sentinel, you lose a life or remain on the sentinel space. There are other ways to cross to the middle region. Finding a building raft, being teleported, or by ferry from the tavern space. Well, let's go back to this screen. Because you get to draw two cards. Okay, one. Magic belt. Okay, right on. And if you draw more than one card, they are counted in the order determined by their encounter number. The number in the green circle with the lowest number being tackled first. So the storm. 
The storm sweeps through this region, you miss one turn. The storm then abates. Then we can do the magic object. Okay, huh. For event cards, instructions on the card must be followed. The card is then automatically discarded. Well, that sucks. Your turn ends immediately. If you draw a card which results in a lost turn, any cards you did not encounter remain on the space. The card has been left in space. You can draw up on any time from the objects and followers menu on the right. If there are any cards already on a spacey line, you only draw enough new cards to take the total number indicated for a space. Interesting. For example, sp the space instruction reads draw two cards, but there's already one card there, then you only draw one new card to bring the total to two cards. If the space reads draw one card, then there's already one there. You will not draw a new card. This can be useful for your low on lives want to avoid combat. Huh. But what about the. Some spaces have cards already face up. You can select these cards to view them in more detail. A card can be face up because it's related to a quest goal or because you dropped it there. If you move to a space with a card already on it, you'll only draw enough cards. Yeah, we read that already. But I want this belt. That's crappy. So you have to land on it again? Ah. Uh, I don't know if I like this game now. <laughs> what does that mean? One? Come on. Let's go this way. Okay. Uh, okay, let's draw a card. Uh, both objects and magic are the class of objects. You may carry only carry four, but there's no limit to the amount of gold you can carry. To pick up an object, press the continue button top right. To leave the object on the card, press the cross. Ooh, look at this. If you're defeated in a battle and lose a life, roll one die. If you roll four, five, or six, the armor protected you and you did not lose a life, though you still lost the battle. Huh, that's cool. Press tick to pick up this card. Or press X to leave it. Huh. Ah, oh, fuck. I want to get, I want to buy a sword. Oh, well, let's go here. Woods. It seems ominous. Hey, look at that. Got a weapon. Fucking eight. Find another weapon so that you have two. Well, that's brilliant. <laughs> uh, four. Oh, what's this? One, two. Or is the bridge? One. This is one, two, three, four. Nah, I don't want to do the Black Knights. It's this chapel. Okay, well let's. What's this one? Let's do this one just because we can draw a card. See what happens. Bang. Ooh, we got two gold. Yay! Okay. Now if we get a one. No, we get a four again. So where do we want to move to? Let's go back to the forest here. Okay, let's see what we got. Siren. You missed the turn. Come on. Man, I'm going to do so bad on the bonus points. <laughs> uh, four again. But there's uh, this bastard here. Well, that's fine. Let's go to the fields again. Let's see what we got. Oh, there you go. There's a second one. You may raft when you're in the woods or the forest by using axe from the objects. Huh. Kill a strength and a strength based enemy or creature. What does that mean? Well, I guess what we can do is we can get to the middle board. Kill a strength based enemy or creature. So what's this one? Hills? Sure, let's go in the hills and see what we've got. Pestilence, uh, you must lose one life. Really? The character starts a few lines. Uh, very interesting game. Okay. So we got three objects. You can only carry four objects unless you have a mule follower. If you have more than four objects, you must decide which to keep and place the remainder on the current space by highlighting the object and pressing the ditch button. Some objects can be used to do this, like bonuses to strength craft underneath hmm. 
Well, basically, we're going to use this one to add one strength. Yeah, I don't know. We're going to have to kind of kill a strength based enemy. With a strength of nine. The Sentinel just seems nasty with nine. And this one is based on alignment. If you travel here in an eel for one gold per life. Well, let's go here and see what happens. Let's draw. Oh, got a bag of gold. That's good. That's good. Let's see where we're going to go now. What's this? Portal of Power. If you're trying to pass the plane of peril, you do not draw a card. You must either use craft to pick, log, or strength to force it. Decide which ability you're using. Having decided, roll two dice. If the total is equal to or less than your chosen ability, go to plane of peril. If it's higher, remain here and lose one from that ability. Huh. Interesting. Now what's this one? For each one of your follows, if one or two is rolled for lose, Hmm, okay, well. Heal up your life value at the cost of one coin. Gain. Visit the mystic. Become evil. Two, three, ignored. Four, become good. Five, gain one craft. Six, gain one spell. Hmm. Let's do this one. Let's do Craig's. Spirit of Craft 4, lost for one turn, safe, no effect, a barbarian leads you, oh, oh, okay. So that doesn't look like a good place either. Kill a strength-based enemy or creature. So that would be the sentinel, I guess, would be the strength-based creature. And we got... Uh, see, I don't like that one either. Uh, let's go here. Let's see what happens. Ah, uh, let's fight the Sentinel. <laughs> Ooh. Now, is this where I can use objects? What's this? Okay. And then four, five. Or did I just fuck up? Oh, uh, oh well. I'm dead basically. So then we roll the armor, see if I four, five, or six. So I still lose the battle, but I don't lose life. That is interesting. But we'll be able to pick up the sword, I guess, maybe? Or maybe because I dropped my sword. Oh, that's so terrible. I'm such an idiot. That's drop. Oh well. <laughs> so let's go back over here. Crap. Uh, oh, we're going to kill that wolf now. That's great. Should be easy though. I'd have to do terribly bad to just completely food bar that. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's roll this. Got the forest here. Yeah, here to create a raft across the river. Oh yeah, that's right. That's cool. That's cool. You can use a raft. Ah, there we go. Got a sword. Whew. Okay. So let's let's just roll this dice. Now we're gonna go through this again, and we're gonna see what happens. Go this way again. Okay. Hopefully, let's give this a shot. Four, five, six. Okay. Come on! Come on! Come on! Uh, let's roll this. See if I'm saved by my armor, which I'm not.
Yeah, yeah. That's okay. What's this map here? Yeah, let's go to planes. This game is tough, actually. I'm, I'm shocked. When you're telling me various followers, these will accompany you if you take them, and you can have any number of them. They often give you bonuses to help out or help out in certain situations. If you take a follower with you, press the tick. Huh. Some followers must be taken. Oh, look at that. That's a cool follower. Unicorn. So that gives me more. Okay, so let's roll to see what we get. What's this zone? Hills. Well, we got three lives. Let's try this again. We can always go back and buy more lives. So I got seven now. So now we got to be able to beat this guy. Come on. Ah, oh, really? Let's use a fate. Let's reroll it for the hell of it. Whoa! We did it! Okay. Let's see what we got going on. Well done, you've successfully completed your quest. You will receive up to three talisman tokens based on how quickly you completed the quest. So if you don't get the maximum score, you can try again. To get three out of three for each quest for all characters to master the game. Okay, so that's cool. Ooh, two. I knew I took too long. <laughs> okay, carry on. Okay, so that's what we do. So we pick characters and then we decide which quest to do. So we did the warrior. We did the warrior training with that one. You know what? Let's do the troll next. So, so yeah. So I think we'll cut it right here. It'd be a good place to cut. You know, if you like to see more of these, you definitely you like and subscribe, and comment, and all that fun razzmatazz. Uh, I do need to remind you people to do that, just in case. Who knows? But if not, it's no big deal. I'll still make these because it gives me reason to play the game. So yeah. So I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Thank you for watching. In the next one, we'll start with the troll. And I have a great day.